Now, the first point is act like you're qualified, even if you don't think you are. You know, there are some people who aren't the most competent, but their boundless belief in themselves somehow convinces everyone that they are. Yes, be like them. Chances are you're actually not puffing your chest as much as you should. You know, there are some people who can apply for a job even though they know they are not qualified for it, but their confidence can just get them the job. And there are some people who want to wait until they feel they are qualified before they apply just bear in mind that you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take so take that bold step number two you can imitate people who are greater than you some people can exude confidence like how the sun radiates heat even if you don't naturally have that in you you can do a little studying as to what impresses you about such people and you can adapt a little bit of that for yourself it can be how they read books how they run their things and you are good to go so learn from people who are ahead of you people who are greater than you and it costs nothing but can help improve upon yourself now sometimes when you do things you are good at or even just remind yourself that you are good at something can give you a wave of confidence to ride until you learn to believe it 24 7. so do things that you are good at and be a master of it don't be a jack of all trades and master of none. If you master something, it can give you some confidence to ride on. Ask questions when you don't feel comfortable or when you don't understand something. Some people love talking about themselves, so asking insightful questions can help them take an immediate shine to you. Plus, even though you may be doing it because you are nervous, it can give off the vibe that you are the one leading the conversation, which makes you seem self-possessed and in control. So ask questions, talk, don't keep things to yourself all the time, even if you don't understand something, just spit it out. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is accept compliments instead of deflecting them. If someone compliments you, accept it confidently and say thank you to the person. If you deflect the compliment, it shows how low your self-esteem is. No way, I'm terrible at it. You're just saying that. And that shows you have this low self-esteem. You don't believe in yourself and it's something else. So if someone compliments you, accept it with full confidence and say thank you like you believe it, like you know it, accept it. The more you practice these, the more you are going to believe in your own self-confidence. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button, and you will be notified whenever new videos are being posted. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section and like this video.